Hello, this is AG Dubai. Welcome to my first video as a coding channel. So if you don't know what actually happened, I wrote an entire thread about it on Twitter. So twitter.com slash AG Dubai. It's a pinned tweet. Let's get into this video. So what is actually programming? Well, it seems that we need to write code to solve some real world problem. Problems not like reversing link lists or you know some that kind of stuff. Problems like ordering pizza. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's basically what we are going to do today. Now I got an inspiration to make this video uh, from this guy, Jarvis Johnson. He made a video called he ordered a pizza uh, via code, kind of like this one. But his code is like way more structured and just a very fluent system just to work with the code. This, my code is just terrible. My code is just lame, but it just works. So yeah, let's actually check it out. Quick disclaimer, this is not a tutorial video. So just do not, you know, follow this. If you're trying to get into programming, just don't do this. This is just for entertainment purposes only. Okay, I coded this code in Python and used a library called Selenium, which is basically used for uh, web automation and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's what we'll be using. So if you don't have Selenium first, install it and then proceed. Now for automation, the thing that you really need to know is uh, the actual steps that the computer will be taking and that is a simulation of what we'll be doing. So basically you need to run through the website from top to bottom, the entire procedure by yourself and then code it. So this is the Domino's website that we'll be using to automate the pizza ordering process all by itself. We need our code to come to dominoes.co.in and uh, go to our menu and select all the things that we want and then process it and then you know check out. To start off, you need to go to the inspect mode. Now you can select an element and find its exact tag. Now suppose we want this to be our tag. We can click here. This is the tag that we need to use. You can right click on it, copy and then use the copy X path. Well, there are multiple ways to actually copy these element tags into your Python file. Uh, but we'll be using XPath just for simplicity purposes. Okay, so now that you know the basics of how we navigate through websites, uh, let's actually see the code that I wrote and I'll explain you what happens there, right? Okay, so this is the code that we'll be using in order to, uh, you know, order our pizza. Uh, this right here is importing the Selenium library into your file so that you can work with all his classes and all those stuff. This part basically tells the file that we need to open dominoes.co.in uh, via the Edge browser. You can use any of the other browsers, uh, but you have to install the respective web driver in order to use this. We are putting code into sleep mode for four seconds here because we want to ensure that uh, the website is loaded fully before any of the further codes execute. This is the actual order and this is how we click on those orders. Also, if you're ordering this, why not just treat yourself, maybe increase the quantity. So this is the part that actually deals with increasing the quantity of the product. Now, in order to proceed, we need our login details. Uh, we'll be entering our phone number here and it will be sending an OTP to our phone. We have a limited amount of time to uh, enter that OTP and everything is settled. This part opens up the address menu and you can select one of your saved addresses for delivery. So once you're done with that, all you need to do is wait for a few seconds and the order will be automatically placed. Uh, then you need to enter your uh, you know, private info like payment details and all those stuff. And that's it. So yeah, just let me enter my phone number into it and the actual details. And after that, we are probably done. All right.
fine Been trying to get all of you All night We haven't talked in months But that's alright Was wondering if you wanted to Go for a drive Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed this video And if you did, make sure you hit like and subscribe uh, YouTube is telling me that 99% of people who watch my videos have not subscribed wait I have a thousand subs and if those 99% of people subscribe I'll have a hundred thousand subs <laughs>